so I've had to record this video about five times now. Um, and it's because the first reason was because it was doing this. Uh, and then the second, third, and fourth reason was because of the same reason. So I'm going to take a picture of my OBS to show you guys what I have to do for it to show up on the correct aspect ratio that I have it. I have it set to recording in 1440p. And yeah, it's just weird. Now, the fifth reason was because I was quotes around re-recording the, the fifth time until I alt tabbed and realized that it wasn't it, it wasn't recording because the recording stopped two seconds in and I didn't realize it so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty annoyed and yeah <laughs> so all the professionalism I had in the first two recordings and then the the, just the last one because that I thought I was recording is gone. Can you stop shooting me, sir? Um, but yes, I, I the reason why is because I, w I wanted to get back and record to Battlefield 3 because I was just kind of craving it since the last time I uploaded a video on it, which I'm very surprised that it got the amount of views that it did. It got around, I think, just over 2,500 which is insane. I did not think it was going to, okay. I did not think it was going to hit that amount of views and I think it's got around 20 plus likes or something, which the, the likes I don't really, really care about. Okay, classic dice revive. Jesus Christ, that guy with the M16. But yeah, I, I want to genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much for the support that you showed on that Battlefield 3 video. Um, you can also tell that I'm playing on a high ping server. Um, it was kind of, there was no really American servers on right now. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate. So I'm stuck playing in a German server, which is fine. It's only like 112 ping. But yeah, I'm, I'm giving you guys a, a, double, a double whammy for today's video and I was planning on getting it up the day I recorded it which is August 11th on the on Friday and it doesn't look like that's going to happen because of the problems that have occurred of me trying to record this video he's probably mad that I stopped his kill streak I also wish we had like a more okay like a more selection of guns in 2042 2042 just doesn't have the amount of guns that every other battlefield game has that's that's kind of annoying and that goes along with like there's no battlefield title out there that has the feeling that battlefield, battlefield 3 and 4 has i'm sure a lot of people can agree with that sentiment um sentiment what have you. English is hard. Leave me alone. Um, and 2042 has gotten a lot better. And I, I mentioned that in the previous, goddamn, the previous video. I don't know. Someone got really triggered in the comments that I mentioned that 2042 is significantly better since launch. Okay. Jesus Christ. Wait, I suicided? Okay. I must have threw a grenade and not realizing it. Um, we're kind of just using a shotgun to piss people off. That's really why I'm using it. Oof. That, that ping did not register that shot in his head. Um, yeah, but someone got very angry in the comments saying don't say 2042 is good when it's not a good game it's a shit game but like i think a lot of us can agree that has went back and played 2042 that since launch it has gotten significantly better like statistically it's gotten better since launch like especially with the um the fucking 
map that came out with season five. I can't remember the name of it, but it's basically a spiritual successor to Zavad 311. Um, which is yeah, that's that map feels like a battlefield map. Not, which is weird because none of the none of the maps in 2042 feel like a battlefield map, but that one does, and it's it's strange to me. Am I getting revived? Hey. Oh, Jesus. I forgot about the... I always hated the stuck animation when you get revived. You just get kind of just stuck. I... When I shot the first round, I panicked, and I didn't think it was the first... Wait, what? Did he, like, crash or something? I was going to make a 2042 video, but I'm not sure if it would get any views. I'm not... Because no one really likes 2042, which is... Kind of annoying now. Because, I mean, it is... It is good now. When I say good... I, I say good very loosely. God, shotguns in this game are so fun. I'm shooting more than I should because I just don't trust the ping to one tap. How many? 10 HP. Uh, one more shot probably would have killed him. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm wondering. I'm going to ask you guys a question. What was your... F Jesus. Fondest memories. Funnest favorite. Fondest what have you. Of Battlefield 3. And I'm going to ask the same question when we get into Battlefield 4. Because I have a lot of memories playing this game. Not only gaming related and related to playing the game, but just real life memories. Okay. Well, what, one of my fondest, probably one of my favorite as well, is me and a buddy of mine. Hopefully he watches this video because he'll, he'll, he'll know when I, the second I say it. But we used to run... Uh, and this was back to 360, because all of my friends had 360s. Um, I still play on Xbox, because I just think Xbox is better. Every Sony player and P PC player are going to be flaming me in the comments right now for saying that. But that little uh, rail car with the Connex container on it, we would lay down on that side of the container, and we would run 870 slugs with rifle scopes and lasers. Um... And we would just one-tap people across the map, and we would specially do it. We wouldn't start off doing that in the game. What would happen is we would get snipers who would camp up there. And the second a team would camp up there with snipers is when we started bringing out the, the 870 slug with the rifle scopes. So then we would lay up there, and we would one-tap them across the map with slugs. And they would get very mad. I remember getting a lot of angry Xbox Live messages because we would use the Slug 870s. And it, it was just so fun. I'm sorry? I know I'm using Buckshot, but damn. I think I started a trend now. I think everyone's switching the shotguns now. Since surprise hasn't been happening before, because, you know, North Shell Canals and Shotguns is kind of like eggs and bacon. Did not think that was going to get a kill. Someone's using the Dow 12. I can fucking hear it. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, I need that extended mag. What the? Oh, okay. He's laying down. That was weird. I thought he was fucking f no clipping. Oh, dudes, you have ping advantage on me and you fucked up. 
I, I, I'm definitely shooting more than I should because of the ping. Oh! Oh my god. Wow, I did not think that revive was going to stay for that long. What? What? What grenade? There's no way he threw a grenade at his feet and ran away. Operation Metro... The second assault DLC for Battlefield 4. Oh, barely got cover. What? I'm playing on a 90 hertz server, so I'm basically at a disadvantage. You would think that would be, like, perfect. No. It fucks with my frames. It fucks with my frames, and for some reason it makes my game perform worse. You're not knifing my teammate. I know exactly that. I know exactly what he was doing. Okay. Damn. My sensitivity isn't right right now. That's that's my excuse. Was he low or high? Look at that, the whole squad's here. I for sure should change to, oh. Med packs. Full ones. Not playing that game. I see a rocket coming towards me, not playing. I'm sorry? Play that back. Is anyone, either themselves or their siblings, have a German Shepherd? And if you do, let me know down in the comments, but also let me know, do they bark literally every five seconds? Because if those of you that know, I used to have an Akita, an Akita Inu. Um, she was, she was my baby dog. Um, that sounded weird to say that. Uh, she, she was my baby. Um, and she passed away last year in, in March. Um, and that was devastating to me. Like, complete, like, I, I still miss my dog a lot. Um, but my brother, uh, like a year before she pa my dog passed, got a German Shepherd, got a Sable. And I swear this dog, her favorite thing to do is fucking bark. Like, I understand it's a breed, like German Shepherds are guard dogs. Most minute noise, she fucking barks and freaks out. Or when someone comes home, like my dad, or... It's mainly my dad she does it to. Oh my god, I can't... Fat fingering everything. But it's, it's mainly my dad that she does this. Is the second my dad comes home, walks through the door, she gets really, really defensive and starts barking even more. And she knows who the motherfucker is. She knows who he is. Because the second he sits down, she'll just sit there and, like, love on him. Like, fucking try and cuddle him to death. It's like, really, dog? Like, two seconds ago, you were just fucking going ape shit. And then he sits down and you're like, oh, okay. 
Their or your German Shepherd act like that. Especially a Sable. Like, I feel like it's it's mainly a Sable thing. God damn, I keep getting destroyed by these higher fire rate guns. Called it, even back in the day, I always called it the AN-91 for some reason. I always added an unnecessary N. And like, there's literally no reason to it. I heard a Glock. That grenade actually, I'm gonna bait my teammate here. I knew you were in that corner, you little bitch. Man, I have over 4,000 hours just on 360 alone. I know that spot. Not to mention the amount of hours on 360 I have on Battlefield 3. I guess, and I'm only talking about this because I watched Jack Frags' video a while back. A reimagined Battlefield title in the works. Like, it's coming. Um, and I don't know if that's the single-player Battlefield game that we were told that's coming out, made by the new studio that uh, DICE, well not DICE, but EA acquired. Um, we don't know if it's an existing company that's worked on Battlefield titles. You're bad, holy shit. Uh, and there's a claymore. It's going to be the single-player Battlefield made by the new development company. We don't know if it's going to be me being made by DICE and DICE LA. I know they changed their name to Ripple Effect, but I'm always going to call them Dice. I'm not going to call them Ripple Effect. I just think that's stupid. Like, why why change the name of Dice? Like, that's a, it's such an iconic EA developer. It's a sick collab, and I don't know why I'm just now, like, saying this out loud. Fuck. Thank you. Have a nice day, sir. Um... Sometimes I like doing that. I'm an asshole for it, but I, I sometimes like baiting my dead teammates. I'll revive them when if I know someone's coming around the corner. And that way they have a choice between shooting me or the guy right in front of them. And sometimes, about 80% of the time, they'll shoot the guy that I just revived. The Metro game series, made by Deep Silver, reimagined Metro map, you know, this map, but in the themes of the Metro games. That would be sick in my opinion. Damn, he saw that guy before I did. This dude with the fucking Srawl I think he's using. So annoying. Uh, classic dice not letting you mantle. Thank you for killing the guy to my right. What is your favorite, fondest, what have you memory of Battlefield 4? Honestly, I have to think of one, because I have a lot. <clears throat> um, I do think this... I, I have another memory, but I, I can't remember if it's on Battlefield 4's Second Assault uh, Caspian Border, or if it's the original Battlefield 3 Caspian Border. Um, but the same buddy of mine that I was talking about with the Slug 870s... Um, me and him were playing Caspian Border, and again, I can't remember if it was the Battlefield 4 remake, if you want to call it a remake, or if it was the original map. But we were flying in a Cobra, and we were being attacked by a, um, a flanker, the Russian jet, on the enemy team. And he was locking us with his, uh, fuck, his missiles. Did he just, I think I was a little help, but he was locking us from afar with missiles. And then I, I ended up dodging his missile. Like, I, I flared, the missile went into the ground, and then there was a guy on the ground. I, I was clearly flying. My buddy, the same guy that I was talking about in the battlefield section, he was the gunner. And we were getting locked by two different ground units that had stingers. So they fired both of their stinger missiles at us, and I was at a high enough altitude where I managed to do a barrel roll in the Cobra. And I ended up dodging the first rocket with the first uh, turn going inverted. And then as I rolled back around to level, the second Stinger missile went right between the landing pylons of the, uh, the Cobra. And we were so fucking hyped. It was insane. I, I don't know if he remembers that, let alone we'll see this video. 
I'm bad. I'm bad. Uh, there's a fucking AEK again. Um, but yeah, we were so ecstatic that, and we were so fucking hyped. And I remember getting a message from I, I, what I would assume would be one of the Stinger, uh, Stinger enemy players. And he just messaged me. It, he just simply said, that was badass. And I was like, oh, that, that was... Again, I can't remember if that was Battlefield 3's Caspian Border or Battlefield 4's remake. But either way, it's it was just one of, another one of those Battlefield, only in Battlefield moments. And... God, it was... I just loved this game. I loved Battlefield 3 and 4. And again, I'll say it again. I really do think DICE ripple effect... I just really think they need to combine Battlefield 3 and this game together with all the content, all the maps, all the weapons, gadgets. Obviously, redo some of the features, rebalance some things, re probably remove some things, if I'm honest. I'm, I'm not the one to complain and say this needs to be removed from the game. But the UCAV and Mortar Spam in Battlefield 4 should be removed. Or at least significantly nerfed. To play that game for another three years straight. Um, and again, that's a, it's a positive for DICE as well. And anyone working on the Battlefield franchise. Because they could straight up release that game as the yearly Battlefield title. And then that gives them a significant amount of time to re uh, release a brand new Battlefield title in the franchise. Like, a brand new, not no, like, reimagine or something. Which I'm fine with... Hello. I'm fine with reimagines, remakes, what what have you. Um, and the word remaster doesn't really mean what it used to mean. Uh, especially if you go by Ubisoft's definition of remaster. I, I, I think I talked about this in the Battlefield 3 part of the video. But if you guys remember Assassin's Creed 3, when they announced they were remastering that game... I don't know about you guys, but I was mega hyped because Assassin's Creed 3 is one of my favorite, if not my favorite Assassin's Creed game to date. We got the game and their definition of remaster is just reskinning the game in 4K. And I'm like, R really? That's that's what you're going to give us. Oh man, if that was a headshot. And I, I was solely disappointed. Like I was really, really pissed off. I didn't end up buy I didn't end up buying the game. My brother bought the game. I didn't end up touching the game at all because I was just really disappointed with how they marketed it as a remaster, but all I did was revamp the game and retexture it in like four caps. There's the barking German Shepherd that I mentioned earlier. Yeah, just the camo set, the camo selection on the gun. Like, look how many camos. Like, twenty forty two doesn't have this. Yeah, I don't have the phantom camo for the guns or the uniform phantom phantom camo. Um, because like no one wants to do the uh, phantom. Um, wait, you can color your parachute. Wait, since when were you able to color camouflage your parachute? Has that always been a thing? What the fuck? I have played this game since 2013. Never knew that you could camouflage your parachute. Holy shit. I am stupid. Holy shit, I got revived. Whose man is this? That man right there. But yeah, just just imagine like a, a a remake of three and four, where they would add more factions in the game. Like they would have Britain, they'd have Germany, France, Korea, Japan. Like they had all their uh, unique camo uniform camos. It, it it would just be insane. I don't know why Dice hasn't capitalized on doing that. They would make, they would wake. They would make way more money than just releasing a brand new title. And that, that seems like a EA thing to do because they're all about money and don't care about the consumer. 
Oh, fuck. Oh, God, I almost got away. I'm baiting you. No, you're not. What the? You're bad. Uh, do the. Oh, I was gonna say, do the dice shuffle, which is just jump spamming. It's been, uh. The two best Battlefield titles to date. And I'm hoping soon that Dice or Ripple Effect or whoever's working on the Battlefield franchise gets their head out of their ass and gives us, gives us a game that we can all enjoy and love. And that's exactly like 3 and 4. Um, I have a feeling it's going to take a while for that, but let's hope this reimagined Battlefield title um, re-sparks, rekindles the community and it feels like 3 and 4. Um, and let's hold on to hope that Ripple Effect will make a Battlefield 3 and 4 reimagine into one game as a main title, so that way it gives them a long time. But uh, yeah, without further ado, like, comment, subscribe, ding dong, notification bell so you guys know when I upload next. Um, sorry for the audio issues and the recording issue issues, and uh, I'll try and get that sorted out. If you want to see more Battlefield content on the channel, just let me know down in the comments. Um, because if you, if you want me to keep making Battlefield 3 and 4 videos, by God, I will become a Battlefield 3 and 4 YouTuber in 2023. Adios, guys.